the paper had lots of information, was very rich uh, that way. However, from my perspective as a discussant, I thought there, there needed to be more of a link between uh, um, the empirical evidence or the outcome indicators that she was showing and uh, the qualitative part or the theoretical part. So why do, why do we expect to see a difference in indicators between public and private institutions? And through what channel exactly is this affected? Uh, and so if, if she puts her hands on the, the exact causal chain uh, between um, uh, a certain law, a certain incentive, a certain structure, and the outcome expected from that, that would have really um, enriched her paper and showed that uh, whatever outcomes you see are due to that particular uh, incentive or due to that particular uh, structure that, that she presented um, at the beginning of her paper. The other improvement venue was to show how the international experience looks like, what, what international evidence do we have, how do private schools fare uh, in higher education compared to public schools in other countries, in developed countries, in Asian countries, in Arab countries, are they better, are they worse? And what exact, what kind of indicators exactly should be we using uh, to to infer differences in quality in a in a substantial way? Again, I thought I needed more discussion on the uh, national quality, uh, no national authority for quality assurance and accreditation. This is the authority in Egypt that accredits. Uh, various institutions, uh, various educational institutions and various programs uh, in these institutions. I thought as a qualitative paper it, it ought to have had more information about uh, this, uh, this important institution in Egypt. But what do we do next? What is the solution to, uh, to, to our educational problems? And the, the truth is, as the paper actually pointed out, is that we have deep-rooted structural problems. It's not about just about the education system. It has to do with the, with the market for goods, what types of goods do Egyptians export, uh, do they uh, export to big markets, so the size of their markets, the type, is it a high-end market, is it a low-end market? So that reflects on the demands that the private sector puts on our education system. If these demands are low, then uh, the, 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 the education system as a whole has no incentive to better itself. There are no demands. So you need to break the cycle of, uh, of where does our educational um, output, where is it used, for what purpose. If not, then it's not, it's not worth it for us to be better educated.